To activate the 808 slides, it's very easy. All you have to do is just click on the note that you want. You just double click and then this menu will pop up. And then all you have to do is just click on like this triangle part right here, press accept. And then this is how it sounds. Got drunk like producers, I ride with the shooters. Yeah, we outside of your crib, we not behind the computers. Yeah, me and bro hitting licks, we gon' slide in the Uber. Yeah, and the shots don't miss, could've tried in the hooker. Damn. Vocal ideas is where it's at. If you could just hum out something or mumble out something, you don't have to like actually rap. Get a flow going, and then you're gonna be able to put the slides and the spots that sound right to you. And even if you don't have vocals on it, I'm gonna just show you like some main spots that 808 slides are commonly used in and then you just kind of go from there and play by ear. The way I like to start off my 808 pattern is pretty much go with the chord progression. Remember, simplicity and all these different kind of methods is key. You don't always have to feel like you gotta be complex. And as you can see, it's only one chord. It's a C, sus, chord so i'm going down to the second which is d so that will make it a c sus 2 chord and we're just going to listen to it so now that you have down the basic idea of where the actual 808 is going to hit now we can focus on where we're going to want the slides. I'm just going to highlight it with one note, this note right here. So in this section, you can put it right there, right there, right there. It's pretty much the second half of your bar. These spots will always work. And you can go right here and stuff. But for the most part, if you just listen to a lot of drill songs, you're going to be able to hear that it's always coming towards the end of each bar. We're gonna follow that structure. So another quick tip that you can use is half steps. So there's always gonna be like two sections where there's half steps and a minor scale. So right here, you have G and then you have G sharp. We're in C minor, by the way. And then you have D and then you have D sharp. So from that knowledge, all you have to do is just use those four notes. You don't have to use like all the notes in the scale to make your 808 slides. When it comes to music, it's really broken down into like four parts. You have your chords, you have your melodies, then you have the bass, and then you have your drums. But with the chords, then your melody, your melody should only be like at least three to four notes. You're not really using the whole scale as your melodies. Sometimes you do, but for the most parts, if you listen to a lot of songs, it's three to four notes. So once you find your three to four notes that you like, you stick with those and then you just flip them around. You play with the pattern. So right here, I've, I wanna hear like a low slide. I'm gonna just go up an octave. Even though I said stick around the half steps, but you can't ever really go wrong with the root note. The root note is always gonna sound right. So let's just hear how this sounds. So I'm hearing like two notes right here. So like I said, the amount of notes that you wanna use, just make sure at the bottom, you break it down into those same amount. Like if you wanna use four notes, have four notes at the bottom. If you want eight, have eight notes at the bottom. And there is a thing where it's like, you could just use one and then have two slides, but then at that point it's called a glide. So you could just hear how it sounds. Actually, that don't sound too bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna use actual two slides instead of a glide. So let's hear it now. So that's cool, but now keep in mind, you wanna go higher in the octaves to really get that nice AOA slide. And you can even go higher if you wanted to. sounds sick and keep in mind when you do go that high press alt and x and you just if you look at the um velocities you kind of just want to bring it a bit lower so that it could just blend you don't want it to be loud in the listener's air you could even bring it up a bit more So it's very subtle when you do it that way, and I honestly like it that way, but it's to each your own, that, but just keep that in mind. And I also might just flip this around.
yeah i like that and then for this part i want more slides so i'm gonna actually cut this part into four so remember just have it now in your four blocks and then you could just click on the note like once and then you could have your slide so any note that you click on and then you click away to another note is always going to have that same velocity and that same duration so that's like a quick tip so you don't have to keep doing back and forth with stuff and then like i said as, as long as you stick with the half notes you're always going to be right or your four notes of the melody that you like a lot so i can mess around do the g sharp d sharp again but as you can see i'm starting with the g then the g sharp instead of the g sharp to the g so i flipped it that way and then i could use the d sharp to the d and then it could sound something like this Before we go more into little stuff that you can do, I also want to share with you guys this drum kit that I'm using and it's called Lockdown Grind. And I just love this kit a lot because as you can see, it's hard hitting UK drill sounds. <laughs> so off the back, you're getting that specific genre and, and look how much samples and loops you're getting in this whole kit. 535 loops, 358 drum samples, and then you have 178 one shots. And this is only about $49. And you just have a product that just gives you a lot more for your buck, especially if you're looking for one kit that you can go to for your UK drill sounds. This is definitely it. You could just go on their page and you could even listen to the whole like demos that they have if you guys like how this drum kit sound and you want to give it a shot my link below in the descriptions that is going to help support this channel and by helping support this channel i can make more videos like this and show you guys better products to choose from rather than just you testing your luck with youtube products or any reddit products man let's just really get the quality off the back so let's get back to it. So pretty much what I just showed you, just follow the same method for the second half, but add a, a bit more so that it's different. Usually they have the first part different from the second part. You know, they just have two different parts just so that it doesn't get boring. So now all together, I will have something like this. And you can see like it's still the same half steps i just use the um d lower and then i have the d up here uh, octave higher and then i have the g to the g sharp so you just mess around with those notes that you have and just keep flipping them around and then keep messing with the octaves that's all really <laughs> that you need to understand and then understand velocity controls as well like it's not all just like stagnant you can see that it's going up and then for this part, I have it go down. So it sounds like it's fading. You hear that? Like this, one more time. And it just makes it to that nice transition that goes into the verse. And also panning does matter too. So we could mess around with the panning. For this one, I didn't really mess around with the panning, but you can. But what I can do is make this a sterilized signal and put this in mono. So that's another tip that you can use. I like the own zone imager because I'm able to like just mess with the different frequencies and you always kind of want to have your bass in mono. And yes, you can make your bass a bit stereo, but you want the very low end to be in mono, like 50 hertz or 92 hertz below. You want that to be in mono so that it doesn't sound wobbly on stage or in other places and then also what i did was i went to the polyphony polyphony is also another way where you can make your 808 slides and you could just hear it you see how like this messes with how much slide that it has but i like to just add a little just to even make it a cleaner sound I feel like when it was all the way down, pretty much off, I feel like the slides just decay very fast. But but when you have it a bit up, it just gives it that nice resolving like decay. Yeah, that sounds smooth. 
And then I also use the shift knob to move the 808 out the way. And then another thing that I like to do is always pay attention to the 808 samples that you have because there could be like a very punchiness in the beginning that you didn't recognize. Like, I'm just going to copy this value real quick. Like, it has a very punch to it, so I just kind of go up a, a bit with this knob, the sample start, pretty much. Now you don't hear that. So you always want to just kind of pay attention to that because if you have your 808s and you have your kicks, it's just going to sound very muddy. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, like and subscribe, share with your other producer friends. Remember the link is in the description below and you can also find the other VSTs that I use below too as well. So thank you for watching. Peace. Boom.